Thank you, Christian. <clears throat> I would like to uh, welcome everyone. I want to thank the host committee uh, for uh, their time and their effort in setting this up. I want to thank the leadership of the Columbia University Alumni Club of France. Uh, and finally, I want to thank uh, Christian Viros and Christophe Knox for their extraordinary work in, in bringing this about. Uh, this morning, we have uh, 600 alumni and friends uh, from 30 different countries uh, gathered to do what Columbia University, uh, as one of the great educational and research institutions in the world, does best. That is, to think about with the greatest uh, and highest intelligence and the greatest commitment to understanding uh, the most important issues of the time. We have here, of course, a home in, in Paris with Reed Hall, and that has educated many students and faculty and served as a base for scholarship for people all over the world. Uh, we hope very much to build on that success and to have even a greater presence in Europe and Paris in particular over time. To frame the discussion today, I only want to say just a, a very few things and then introduce the first panel. Uh, our goal is very simple at a university uh, at Columbia. Our goal is simply to understand the world uh, and to try to develop ideas that will help make it better. That, of course, encompasses a huge array of disciplines, subjects, schools, uh, and individual work. It is a continuous conversation that goes over decades and even centuries, uh, and we draw on some of the greatest discoveries that happened at Columbia. That said, the world is changing radically around us, and I don't think in my lifetime I have ever seen so rapid and in many ways so positive uh, a set of, of changes. Uh, these are many different, uh, there are many different causes for this, uh, but a primary one is the growth of economic integration throughout the world, uh, and a second uh, significant cause is the growth of interconnectedness through new technologies like uh, the internet. As this happens, uh, as probably always happens, but even more so now, we barely understand what the forces are that are changing the world uh, at this moment. We barely understand them. I think if you go at it from any field, whether it's my field, law, or whether it's economics, or whether it's health, whether it's education, whether it's culture, uh, those of us who have spent lifetimes trying to understand these fields would have to say, at base, we remain mystified by the great forces at work. So how this is happening, what are the implications, and what might be done to both help us understand it better and to help shape the future uh, are the subjects of a great university like Columbia and this set of panels today. We're making great efforts at Columbia to expand our base in New York City, and all of you have probably heard about Manhattanville, the great project of a new campus uh, that will bring six million square feet of, of new space for Columbia that's in West Harlem. And by the way, this past week saw a great turning point as the borough president and Mayor Bloomberg uh, strongly endorsed the entire project, and we now go to the City Planning Commission, uh, where we also hope very much for a positive outcome uh, this next week. This will end at the end of this semester, more or less um, into January in the City Council, and then we will be on our way. This offers us, for the first time in 100 years, the chance to expand Columbia, and physically, and that expansion in a physical sense, will enable us, we hope, to reach out more to the world beyond us. We have a number of panels today that uh, I just feel uh, extremely fortunate to be here to listen to. I think we all 
uh, will feel incredibly uh, grateful at the end of the day. Uh, we began with the issue of media, something very dear to my heart, uh, and something that um, I would like less of, uh, frankly. Uh, <laughs> But I really am happy to talk about it and listen to people talk about it. And there's no one better to lead that discussion than our uh, amazing dean of the School of Journalism, Nick Lemon. Then we have a new dean, um, whom uh, Gene and I hosted uh, for uh, a reception uh, just a week ago, Carol Becker. And the only thing that I could think of to say uh, was, uh, I'm not sure Columbia is ready for Carol Becker, and you'll see why when she interviews our wonderful uh, new colleague at Columbia, Ohan Pamuk, knows Nobel Prize winning author, of course. In the afternoon, it's my privilege to uh, take uh, the temperature of some of our greatest uh, faculty members who focus on globalization, particularly from a uh, development economic and social environmental development standpoint, uh, also educational standpoint. And we have Susan Furman, who's our new and very dynamic and committed dean, I'm sorry, president of Teachers College, our Nobel Prize winning economist, Joe Stiglitz, uh, and our tireless and eminent and um, extremely and justifiably well-known uh, director of the Earth Institute, Jeffrey Sachs. That will be followed by a keynote address by Kofi Annan, who I uh, just ad admire tremendously, and I think that admiration is shared throughout this room. Uh, the importance of people from a variety of positions in life speaking out in their own voice to uh, the moral conscience of the uh, world and the social conscience of the world, the policy conscience of the world is exceedingly important and I can think of no Secretary General of the UN uh, who has matched Kofi Annan in that uh, and he's a dear, dear friend of, of Colombia and we look forward to a long relationship uh, with Kofi Annan and he will be here to speak to us. This evening we will close with a, a dinner that should be uh, an opportunity to have fun and to enjoy it, but also to carry on the conversations uh, that have been sparked by today. So I look forward to this. I now turn this over, I believe, to, uh, to Nick Lemon. Is that correct? And um, thank you for being here. We're delighted to be here today.